everybody it's Amanda from Amanda Rose Tarot and we're here today to do another themed pick a card reading and this is going to be a love soulmate and twin flame reading and the question that we're going to ask today is do we have a future together so um, I have three different piles for you um, to pick from and so you can have three choices as to um, you know, which stone resonates with you. So, um, yeah, these are the options that we have and, uh, I want to get straight to the reading. So, um, no spiel in the beginning for you guys. So, um, let me just show you the cards. Okay. So hopefully you guys can see those three piles. So we've got pile number one here with the quartz. We've got pile number here. Um, this is the jade, that's number two, and then pile number three over here, the crystal ball, um, that's going to be number three. So I've got a different camera angle I'm trying out, so you guys can let me know if it's better. Um, I just wanted it, the cards to all be shown in the reading. Sometimes it's hard to do that, so um, I'm just going to be quiet for a second, let you guys, um, you know, Focus on the piles and whichever one resonates with you. Uh, once again, we've got the quartz, the jade, and the crystal ball. Okay, so we're going to start here with the quartz. And let me show you the first three cards that you got. Okay, you guys got the King of Wands. So this could be an Aries sign or another fire sign. You guys have the Death card. Um, the sign that goes with this card is Scorpio. And the third card that you have is the Lilies. However, th this card is in reverse. Okay, so first let's go over that Death card. Okay, so the death card, this is not a negative card. This is actually a very good card. Um, it speaks of rebirth and, um, you know, a transformation. So this could be the ending of a situation. Um, it's going to be a change for the better. Um, release old resentments. Um, it, it's time to let the stress go. Not having fear of the future. Um, you know, using your energy to really gain enlightenment, um, you know, it's, it's having new ideas, um, not resisting, um, it can be even a little bit of secrecy going on. So maybe with this person, if you've chose number one, um, there could be some secrecy going on. Um, the, the rose is, however, the sign of... Uh, the white rose is the sign of pure love. So, you know, there could be love here. Um, but this card is saying that change is necessary. Um, there could be um, something to do with commitment. Maybe some things need to change. Um, letting go of the, the past and uh, realizing that that has... Um, no use in you know your current situation so changing releasing the old um, you know resentments that you've had and not being afraid to move into the future so this is a positive card definitely and the next card that you have is the king of wands so like I said this could be um, Aries or another fire sign this person they're going to be very fiery they're going to be very action driven um, they're also very independent um, influential uh, very authoritative ambitious um, a loyal person as well um, they have a lot of leadership qualities they're also very protective and understanding um, sometimes they're in a hurry to start projects and they don't always, um, complete them. They may leave, you know, um, you know, loose ends. So, you know, that is something to know about this person. Uh, they also like variety. Um, they're not really afraid to take a risk and they, they sometimes bore easily. 
Um, in the very negative, you know, this person can be controlling, overconfident, arrogant, um, you know, but usually um, they're loyal, you know, and, and they, um, they do have a lot of confidence and uh, they're very protect protective and, um, you know, they have a lot of good qualities, but I feel like this person may have some of those negative qualities too, um, like being controlling and overconfident and arrogant. Um, and that could be causing some of the problems as to why you've come here to this reading, um, wondering, you know, what's going to happen in the future together with this person. Um, you know, there's, there's definitely going to there's change that's needed, um, I think, before uh, they can make a commitment. Um, there's definitely some change that needs to take place here because they might try to control the situation or they're just way too overconfident. Um, and they definitely have some secrets, I feel. And the final card that you have here is the Lilies in Reverse. Um, I like to see this card upright. Um, so there's definitely a, an imbalance here in this situation. Um, it's, you know, this person or you could not be, um, you know, you're out of sync in the situation. Um, not in touch with God, not in touch with, um, you know, the higher power. You've lost sight of what the true purpose is with your life um you know there there's reevaluating needed um you know i feel like there's no reward right now with this if you know this is someone you're with or if you guys are separated uh there's really nothing to celebrate right now um you know i i that's what this card means when it's reversed i really hate to say that it sounds bad but um you know this this person I also feel like they're not pure they're not innocent and uh, that could be causing some of the problems as well um you know but you need to release that old resentment for this person you could have a future together I feel like um perhaps maybe let's look at your final card um this is kind of a hard one deception okay it says uh, someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship so you know I did kind of feel that with this I already said with the the Scorpio card here there could be um, some secretiveness so with this card someone's wearing a false mask there's there's things that are not being disclosed to you some sort of information that this person is keeping from you um maybe it's their feelings you know that they, they're so um they can even be kind of snobby like they they're out of sync with the situation and and they've lost sight of their real goal here and they're they're not talking to you i feel like th this is one of those situations where they're not communicating with you they're not telling you their feelings um you know they need to be genuine the angels really want to protect your heart and you've probably already seen these signs that this person is you know keeping things from you that you you know you feel uncomfortable um you know you felt something i feel like you felt something and um there's definitely improvement needed for this relationship to work um you know you don't know everything and they're keeping things from you and um you know maybe they're they're thinking that they need to protect their heart um you know maybe they they just can't let their emotions go um they're they're keeping this secret from you i feel like definitely um that's why they're not making a commitment so do you have a future together i feel like it depends on if this person um you know can can trust you and 
you know, not keep things from you anymore. Um, they need to change, definitely. Um, and I feel like they might be, they might be changing. Um, but if, is it going to be soon enough? You know, I'm not sure if, you know, this relationship can recover. Um, especially if they're hiding things from you. Um, they're not disclosing all the information to you. Um, so I feel like that's, that's going to cause a lot of resentment here. Um, but I feel like there was a lot of passion. There was a lot of intensity. Maybe the sex was like amazing, but, um, I'm not sure if that's enough. So do you have a future together? It's, it's, that's a hard one. Like, um, you know, it's going to be different for everybody, but it's whether, you know, you want to do that. If you want to go forward with that, um, is how I feel. So that's number one. Hopefully you like that. If it resonates with you, let me know down in the comments. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the no notification bell so that you will, um, you know, they you'll get a notification when i um publish my next video so thank you for coming number one let's move on to number two if you pick the jade let's look at your first three cards okay you guys got the four of wands you guys got the chariot in reverse this could be a cancer sign and you guys got the clasped hands in reverse okay so let's see first let's go over the chariot in reverse okay so like I said this could be a cancer sign um, but right now there's it's lacking success um, there could be overconfidence um, there could be um, you know, there's not enough moderation. Maybe there's too much uh, drinking going on. You're overindulging. Um, maybe this person is kind of unstable. Um, they're very opinionated. Um, you know, they could be lacking direction and they really need mental clarity. This could be you or this could be the other person. Um, but with this card, you know, you really shouldn't take a risk right now. You're having some doubts and there's scattered energy, definitely. Um, it's unstable. Things are unstable right now. And uh, be careful with drinking too much. Um, you really need the mental clarity right now. So it's not a good time for um, overindulging, self-indulgences. Um moderation is a must because you know this it's right now it's not stable definitely that's that's I keep saying that but that's how I feel with that and the next card that we'll go over is the four of wands so this is a very good card um this speaks of stability achievement harmony um marriage weddings happy social activities. Um, it could even be buying and selling home or um, just being peaceful in your environment. Um, you know, endurance, fruitfulness, contentment, um, taking some time off to relax and recharge your batteries, um, going on a holiday. Um, it's, it's definitely strengthening a relationship, maybe moving to the next step, um, you know, so this is definitely a good card. The, the previous card, um, I feel like maybe you need to slow down here, um, you know, with, with the... The chariot reversed here in the four of wands. I feel like you need to slow down. I think things will work out. Um, you know, they want them to work out, but they feel like they need to slow down and maybe um, moderation, you know, not overindulging in anything. Um, 
definitely needed. And the last card that you guys got is the class hands in reverse. So normally this is a card of, you know, coming together, making an agreement, making a promise. But I feel like it's delayed right now. Um, you know, now is not the time to make promises that you, you just can't keep. And um, it's just, it's... Things to things need to need more time, um, you know, to test the waters. You know, like going on a test drive uh, before you buy a car. That's what you guys need to do here. You guys need to um, take some time with the chariot reversed. I feel like uh, you guys definitely need to take time, slow down. Uh, now is not the time to make promises or commitments. Um, you just, you're not able to keep them right now. You need to, uh, get to know each other maybe before you can make this partnership work. Uh, you can't make that commitment right now. And I feel like you, you don't know if you can trust this person. Uh, so you, you don't want to seal the deal quite yet. You don't want to make any agreements. Um, you're at that stage where, um, you need to know more details and you just can't make that deal right now. You just can't, um, you know, sign that paper. Maybe, you know, the marriage paper. Maybe it's going to happen, you know, that celebration, that coming together, that marriage, that wedding um, with the four of wands. But I feel like um, you need to slow down and, you know, it's, it's, it, it may happen, but uh, not right now, okay? There's more time that's needed. You need to test the waters. You need to figure out, can I really trust this person? Um, and I don't think you're at that point yet where you can, uh, or maybe they're not at that point yet where they can uh, trust you. So it's vice versa, but that's what I feel if you pick number two. Let's look at your um, Romance Angel card to go with that. Okay, you guys got love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, so with this card, um, it makes sense that this would come up because I feel like you're having a hard time trusting that person. You don't know if you can trust them. But what you need to do is look at yourself more in a caring way. And don't be so critical of yourself. Um, because the more you love yourself, the greater your capacity is to love others and to let them love you, to trust them enough to love you. Um, so this saying, take care of yourself right now, spend some time away from that person, some time alone instead of in a relationship with them. Um, you need to love yourself right now and just look at the patterns in your love life. Take responsibility for, um, you know, the relationships that you've had. These people you've attracted and, you know, the, your past lovers, um, you know, you have agreed to being with them. You know, maybe in hindsight, you're like, oh, why did I agree to be with that person? Um, but you gained something from it. You gained lessons and you gained... Um, strength and you became more independent you became more patient and you need to let go of everything and just accept the lessons from the past so I feel like you've got some baggage and you know you're not able to go into this partnership with this person right now because you know you need to love yourself first and you need to um, work on yourself before you can jump into a relationship um, you know, you'll be able to love people better once you figure out, you know, where you've went wrong in these past relationships. Um, what patterns did you, you know, take that you realize now probably weren't the best idea. So it's learning, growing, and the question is, do you have a future with this person? I feel like um, if it's not you that needs to work on yourself, it may be them that needs to work on themselves. And uh, it's not time to rush. It's not time to make any promises right now with this person. Um, 
but it, you know the the four of wands is there so there is a potential for marriage um you know commitment uh buying homes together even um but yeah there there's still work that's needed before that can happen so that is the message that I have for number two. Um, and hopefully you like that. Uh, if you like my readings, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the notification bell so you'll get notified the next time I have a reading come out. Uh, if you um, want a personal reading, I do have my email down below in the description box. Um, so just shoot me an email and uh, we can talk about that if, if that's something that you're interested in. So let's move on to number three. If you pick the crystal ball, let's look at your first three cards. Okay, the first card that you got is the six of wands. However, it's in reverse. The second card that you got is the eight of cups. This one's upright, so that's good. Could be a Pisces. Doesn't have to be. And the last card that you got is the ring but it's reversed, okay. So first let's go over the six of wands in reverse. Um, so with this in reverse, there could be some confidence lacking right now, um, having a lot of fear, and that's what's holding you back from moving forward. Um, you know, it could be that there's no victory right now, that it is a possibility, but you need to get over these fears. Uh, maybe you need reassurance from this person. Maybe you don't feel that you're worthy of this person. Or you don't even believe that you're you're going to get love. You're, you're wondering, will I ever be able to get this love that I want? Um, but you have to start believing that you are worthy of love. Maybe you need some help. Um, from this person maybe you need some reassurance so um, you just need to get your confidence back and and don't let the fear hold you back maybe you just lack the belief that uh, you know this will really work out and uh, you, you need to work on that work on your fears um, you know maybe you fell from grace and your reputation took a hit um, but focus on one thing at a time and continue on your way. Um, don't get thrown off the horse just yet. Uh, just believe that you're worthy and, and don't lack that confidence. Um, get back on. Try again, you know, if you fall off. Uh, you, you know, your confidence could have taken a hit. Um, but you are worthy of love. Just Just keep telling yourself that. Definitely. Um, the next card that you got is the Eight of Cups. So with this card, I feel like, um, you know, you're having strength right now in your love and your emotions. You're overcoming these temptations that you've had in the past, any desires that you've had. You're overcoming those. You're, you're taking a spiritual journey and... Um, you know, you, you are sensing the danger in too much physical activity with this person. So you could be, you know, walking away, letting go of, um, you know, past mo emotional experiences. And you're, you're trusting your intuition. Um, if these are travel plans, then they're definitely working out. Um, you're having changing attitudes regarding love and relationships. Um, maybe you've had to walk away from something, but you are being very strong in, in your love right now. Um, you're going on this spiritual journey, and I feel like you're you're using your intuition. You're trusting your intuition, and uh, you're, you're overcoming those temptations. You know the danger in too much um, physical activity, and, you know, you're keeping your head on straight. You're definitely... Um, you're being very smart, I feel, with this card. And the next card that you got is the, the ring. However, this card is reversed. Um, with this card reversed, it's saying that the community um, may not approve of the situation. This could be a romance that's kind of taboo. It could be uh, illicit, like an illicit affair 
or just something that, um, you know, others would think w was, you know, not good or forbidden, some kind of forbidden relationship. Um, it could be the difference in maybe age, religion, culture, tribe, race, you know, it could be any kind of differences that, you know, you maybe feel that the, the community around you, um, you know, they wouldn't approve of it. And, you know, with this, you have to, um, you know, go within, you know, think about yourself and, you know, maybe the, these are old fashioned rules that, uh, you know, they just don't apply to you and maybe, um, you know, you want to break the rules, you know, maybe others will think this isn't appropriate, um, but is it something that you, you want, um, you know, maybe you don't want to, um, you know, you don't care if others approve of this, uh, maybe it satisfi satisfies your desires, and maybe it's, you know, not an ordinary situation but what's more important your heart or the approval of others uh that's what this card is saying um so you may be um walking away you know and you're getting strength um you know in this relationship um maybe others don't approve and that's given you some some self-esteem issues here. Uh, you've fallen off your high horse here um, because maybe your confidence has taken a real hit uh, with this relationship. And um, you really need to trust your intuition. And, uh, you know, maybe maybe you do want to break the rules here. Maybe you, you don't care if your community is going to approve. Um of this forbidden love <laughs> oh that's such a crazy story it sounds like a soap opera but i kind of like it oh okay let's look at your romance angel card to go with that oh you guys this card is upside down um okay so i didn't expect that i didn't notice that this card was upside down and the card that it is is release your ex so this person could be an ex and instead of releasing them i feel like you're going to embrace them um the message it says is the time has come to clear your energy so i feel like you this person is not going to let go they're not able to um, it could be an ex that's returning to you and, you know, you guys having eyes for each other again and, you know, getting back in touch, maybe forgiving and making up and, um, maybe this time it's going to be a true commitment and, you know, the second shot that you guys take, you're going to do it right and, um, you know, put the effort in to really win that love back, you know, a loving reunion, um, you know, a healthy resolution for you guys to get back together. And I feel like, you know, that you're going to be able to forgive each other and make this work. And I feel like it's going to improve definitely. Um, when you guys get back together, it's going to be like a leap of faith. And I feel like, you know, even if others aren't approving of this, uh, I feel like you guys won't care that you guys are going to, you know, make up and get back together and take things really seriously this time. And uh, having a lot of strength in, in your love life, I feel, um, you know, with with the Eight of Cups, having a lot of strength um, and using your intuition, you know, and if, you know, this this could just be a delay, you know, and, and it's going to be a marriage, but right now it's, you know, um, things aren't, you know, you guys are kind of up in the air right now about it. Um, you have to listen to your heart, you know, follow your heart. That's what I feel like the message is. If you pick 
the third one, the crystal ball. So um, hopefully you guys like that message. And uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, um, hit the red subscribe button down below. And make sure to hit the notification bell beside it so that um, you will get notifications on your phone when I post my next video. So thank you so much for coming. If you already are my subscriber, then uh, I love you guys so much. Appreciate you guys so much. And uh, give me a big thumbs up because I really like those thumbs up. So um, thank you guys. And I will talk to you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.